So we are going to start on our bellies. Think of this as sort of a um, upside down Shavasana, right? So we're just going to come down nice and slow. Take your time and then see if you can just kind of step your feet out to the back corners of your mat. And then arms are going to kind of reach up in a little bit of a starfish, starfish shape. And forehead or chin on the ground. That'll be totally up to you, whatever feels most comfortable. But if either of these positions with your head and your neck need a little support, bring your hands in, stack your hands and just let your forehead rest there. But if it feels okay to let the forehead or the chin rest down on the floor, take a second to find your way there. <clears throat> and then just a caveat to this, if this is not a comfortable position for you, belly down or chest down doesn't feel right, you can always flip over onto your back. But if it feels all right to be here, Take a second to just let everything kind of soften into the ground. Soften your shoulders, soften your low back. Let the backs of your legs get nice and soft. And then as you start to find a little settling in in this position, <clears throat> first notice if your forehead is connected to the floor or connected to the backs of your hands or your chin, whatever part of your head is touching the ground. Take a moment to just tune in and notice. Notice the solidness underneath you. And then see if you can just notice the length in the back of your neck. And then soften your shoulders. Just imagine that your shoulders are kind of melting away from your ears and then let your chest and your shoulder blades just get a little heavier into the ground and let your ribs get a little heavier. And then see if you can just start to notice and tune into the physical action of breath in your body. So you might notice your belly compressed against the floor which means you'll notice the breath in the front of your body, but can you also notice the breath in the back of your body? And so with that compression of your belly on the floor, <clears throat> at first it might feel like you can't take a full inhalation to fill up the lungs, but see if you can just allow the rest of your body to soften, take a big inhale, let your lungs fill up and allow the breath to fill up through the back of your body, the back of your ribs and the side of your body. Take one more moment here, just noticing, tuning in and seeing if you can feel the breath through the back of your body and your side body. And then before we move away from this place, take a moment to set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care and respect. And then with that intention set, if your arms are stretched up and overhead, bend your elbows, bring them in and stack your hands. So now your forehead is gonna rest on the backs of your hands. And then once you found your way there, <clears throat> we're gonna rock the head a little side to side. So just a light turn of your head side to side, bringing some gentle movement into your cervical spine and a light massage to the forehead or the third eye center. One more little turn of the head side to side and then let your head come back to center. And now we're gonna reach through the right toes. Like you're trying to pull your right toes towards the corner of your mat. 
reach it nice and long, almost as if you're trying to reach the toes off the corner of your mat and then keep that length, but relax the back of your leg. And then take it to your left leg, reach your left leg nice and long, reach through the toes, pull your toes to the corner of your mat, reach it so long that you find the end of your mat and then keep that length soften through the back of your leg. And now we're gonna reach both toes. You're gonna to reach through your toes, reaching nice and long. It's not, nothing major happens here, but we just wanna find that reach, a little activation through the legs, a little activation through the back chain of the body. Reach your toes towards the corners of your mat and then keep that length, but soften the back of your legs. Awesome. And then from here, gently lift your head away from your hands. And now we're gonna walk the elbows in, propping yourself up, coming into a bit of a sphinx pose. And then see if you can just kind of step your feet in a little bit closer, scoot your thighs around, wiggle out your butt, <clears throat> and then relax your toes back down. And then once you found your way here, we're just gonna take three good nods of the head up and down. So tuck your chin towards your chest, elbows are drawing back towards the ribs. Inhale, gently lift your chin up. Exhale, tuck your chin down. Inhale and lift your chin up. One more, just like that. Exhale, tuck your chin down. Inhale, lift your chin up. Keep your chin slightly lifted. We're gonna bend both knees, flex your feet. Feel a little bit of sensation through the back of the body. Imagine you're pulling your elbows towards your ribs. So we get active through the back, through the shoulders. Take one good breath here. Nice, and then relax your feet back down to the ground. Soften through the back of the body. Walk your elbows out just a little bit wider so you can soften back down. And then we're gonna bend the knees again and then swish the heels a little bit side to side just to bring a little soothing to the low back. <clears throat> Beautiful, one more little swish of the heels side to side. And then when you're ready, relax your toes down to the ground. We're gonna prop ourselves up, push your way up into a tabletop position, nice and slow and controlled, walking the knees in. So knees in line with the hips, wrists in line with the shoulders. Once you found your way here, move right into a cat cow breath. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale and round your back. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale to round your back. One more just like that. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale to round your back. And now we're gonna add on from here. As you inhale, curl your toes under, drop your belly, lift your chest, keep your belly dropped. Take three good nods of your head up and down. Awesome. Bring your head to neutral, pull the abdominal muscles in, keep your toes curled under, draw your butt back to your heels, get a little stretch to the toes, the bottoms of the feet. And then come forward, keep the toes curled under. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Keep the belly down. Nod your head up and down three times. Head comes up, draw the abdominal muscles in. Keep the toes curled under, pull your butt back to your heels. Beautiful, one more time, come forward. Keep the toes curled under. Inhale, drop your belly, keep the belly down, and then nod your head up and down three times. As your head comes to neutral, pull the abdominal muscles in, keep the toes curled under, pull your butt back to your heels and then stay here just a little bit longer. If it feels good to do so, rock your hips a little bit side to side, bring that stretch to the pinky toes and the big toes. Beautiful, one more little rock each side. And then when you're ready, come back up, release your toes, move right into puppy pose. Walk your hands towards the top edge of your mat. Keep your hips fairly in line with the knees. Let your chest and forehead melt down. Take three nice big breaths here. When you're ready, nice and easy, bring yourself back up to that tabletop position. And we're gonna take it into the hands and the wrists. <clears throat> so on an inhale, just, just your index fingers, lift your index fingers away from the floor. 
and then release them down. And then on an inhale, lift your middle fingers away from the floor. It doesn't have to be a huge movement, but just find a little lift and release. Lift your ring fingers away from the floor, which might be a little bit harder. You might barely get them off the ground and then release. And then lift your pinky fingers off the ground and then release. Lift your thumbs off the ground and release. And now we're gonna lift all the wrists, both the, all the wrists, both the wrists off the ground. Keep your fingers down, lift your wrists and then lower your wrists back down. Nice. Inhale, lift your wrists up away from the ground and then lower them back down. One more, just like that. Inhale, lift your wrists, lower them back down. Nice. And now we're going to pick the right hand up, turn your fingers like you're turning a doorknob. Fingers are going to point towards your knee or go just as far as feels good. And then press your palm into the ground, get a little stretch to the wrist and the forearm, take a nice big breath in. Awesome, and then if it feels comfortable to do so, you'll either just pick it up and turn it around or peel it back, pull your butt back, stretch through the wrist, through the palm, through the fingers, and then once the fingers peel up, give your fingers a little wiggle, rotate back around, set that hand down, take it to the other side. Pick your left hand up, turn your fingers like you're turning a doorknob. Now fingers are pointing towards your knee or just as far as feels right to you. Pause there for a moment, take a breath. Beautiful, and then if it feels good, you'll peel back, peeling the hand up, or you'll just pick it up and turn it around. And then once your fingers peel up, give them a little wiggle, turn it all around, both fingertips pointing towards the top edge of your mat. Nice, curl your toes under, pull your butt back towards your heels. And now we're gonna keep the toes curled under, pick the knees up away from the floor, lift your butt up just slightly, and then lower your knees back down. <clears throat> awesome, pick your knees up, lift your butt just slightly, feel that little strength in your quads and then release back down. One more, just like that. Pull the butt up slightly, lift the knees, and then release back down. Nice, and then come forward, big toes together, knees to the outer edges of your mat. Take it back to extended child's pose. Pull your butt back towards your heels. Take one good breath here. Beautiful, and then we're gonna lift just slightly. So the butt's gonna lift away from the heels just to create a little space. We're gonna thread the right hand through, but we're gonna keep the spine straight. So we're gonna thread the right hand through. Imagine this is that position where we pull the arm across the chest. So thread your right hand through, keep your spine as straight as you can. You might have to scooch it around just a little bit to find some space for it. And then drop your butt back towards your heels, soften your chest towards the floor, take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. One more breath. Lift your butt slightly away from your heels, unthread that arm, reaching the right hand forward. And now we're gonna take it to the other side. So left hand's gonna thread through, but it's just that move across the chest. So the spine stays straight. Once you've got some space for it, Draw your butt back towards your heels, soften your chest towards the ground. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, lift your butt away from your heels, unthread that arm, come forward, <clears throat> swing your toes out so that your knee, toes and knees are in line. Left hand's gonna walk in underneath your nose. Right hand's gonna reach up to the sky and then see if you can take that right hand, reach it behind you, find your left hip crease, tuck it in and then draw that right shoulder up and back, look to the sky, take a nice big breath. Nice, and then release that hand down. Underneath your nose, take it to the other side. Left hand's gonna reach up nice and high. Take that hand, see if you can reach it behind you, tuck it into your right hip crease. Draw that left shoulder up and back, look to the sky, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then release that hand. Both hands are gonna step out nice and wide. So wide knees, wide hands, curl the toes under, take a wide downward facing dog, lift your butt up. And then maybe find a little pedaling of the legs here, bending one knee and pressing into the opposite heel. Cool, take one or two more pedals of the legs. And then with control, we're gonna lower the knees back down to the ground. 
bring the big toes together, come back through that extended child's pose, pull your butt back to your heels, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then from here, we're gonna sit back on our heels. So if it feels comfortable to your knees to do so, walk yourself back so you're sitting up on the heels and we're gonna take it into a twist. So left hand's gonna find the outside of the right thigh, rotate to the right, look over your back shoulder if you can, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then take that rotation to the other side. Catch the outside of your thigh, rotate just as far as feels good to you, maybe turning your head and looking over your back shoulder. Beautiful, and then bring it back to center. Now we're gonna take both hands behind the back, nice tall fingers, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift your chest, lift your chin. This might be enough of a back bend and you might choose to stay here, but if it feels good and you want just that little bit more, you're gonna lift your hips up, pushing the hips forward, squeezing between the shoulder blades and let your head drop back or tuck your chin in, whatever feels more comfortable to your neck. Take one good breath. And then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully release your butt back toward your heels, bring your hands forward. And now we're gonna come back to that turning of the hands. So both hands are gonna turn in, fingertips pointing towards the inner thighs, press your palm down, squeeze shoulder blades together. We're gonna take three lines breaths here. Take a big inhale. Exhale, stick out the tongue, look to your third eye, let out a little noise. Big inhale. Exhale and let it all out. One more time, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Nice, and then when you're ready, release those hands, bring them forward, lift your butt up, walk your knees in so you're back in that tabletop position. We're just gonna take a couple of C-spines before we start to find our way up to a standing position. So. So hugging your shoulder toward your hip, just moving a little bit of curve in the spine one way and then the other. Beautiful, take one more time each side. And then as you come back to center, curl your toes under, exhale your way up to a downward facing dog, take a pedal or two of your legs here. And then when you feel good and ready, Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. We're gonna to come to a nice ragdoll fold at the top of the mat. So feet are gonna be about hip or shoulder distance apart. Make some space for your belly and your chest. Big, generous bend in the knees and just let everything dangle here for a second. Let your spine be nice and heavy, hands nice and heavy. Notice your neck and notice the back of your neck and just notice how your head and neck feel. If you've got any issues going on with the neck or the head where you're gonna leave this part off and you're just gonna let your head dangle. But if your head and neck are in good working order this morning, interlacing the fingers, we're gonna catch hold of the back of the head, get just a little handhold so you're holding on to the skull right up where that occipital ridge is, so where your skull meets your neck. And then get a nice gentle handhold and just allow the weight of your hands to draw your head down. Let your elbows get nice and heavy. Let your neck soften. Take one more breath here. And then relax your hands back down to the ground. And then we're gonna walk the hands over to the right and then reach through your left hand like you're reaching for something across the room just to find a little space and length through the left side of the body. And then relax that hand back down, walk over towards the left side of your mat, reach through your right hand like you're reaching for something across the room. And then relax that hand back down, come back to center. And now we're gonna take it into sundial. So grab your elbows, find a little gentle sway side to side, make sure your feet feel good and grounded on the floor. And then on your next inhale, over to the right, lift up and overhead. Exhale, circle around and down. Back to the right, inhale, lift up and overhead. Exhale, around and down. One more time on this side, inhale, take it up and overhead. Exhale around and down, hang out here for a second, take a little sway side to side, readjust anything that you need to, but then we'll take it over to the left. As you inhale, swing it over to the left, up and overhead. Exhale around and down. Inhale up and over to the left. 
Exhale around and down. Nice, one more time around. Inhale up and overhead. Exhale around and down. And then as you come back down, take a little sway side to side. And then if it feels good to do so, relax your fingers towards the floor, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, take your time as you come on up. And then as you come to the top of your mat, just take a second to get yourself all set up, finding your mountain pose at the top of the mat. So toes and knees pointing fairly forward, anchoring into your feet, lifting up through the crown of your head, and then just see if you can let your shoulders soften down. Once you've found your mountain pose, close your eyes and just for a moment, come back to your breath. Take a nice big inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Feel your feet connected to the floor. And then just with your eyes closed, if you can notice, does it feel like you're leaning forward, weight is a little bit more on the toes and the balls of the feet. And if that feels like the case, can you draw yourself back just a little bit so that your head, your shoulders, your hips and your heels are all in line. And you almost wanna imagine that your ears are in line with your shoulders. So if you can draw your chin in just slightly, once you've found that nice alignment, come back to your breath, nice big inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Beautiful, right hand's gonna touch down to the thigh. Left hand's gonna reach up alongside your ear. Take a little side bend over to the right. Take three breaths here. Beautiful, lift up with control. Left hand touches down, right hand reaches up. Take a lean over to the left and take three good breaths here. Beautiful, lift it all up, swing the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, draw the knuckles down slightly, open through the chest, pull the arms slightly away from the back of the body and then soften them towards your butt. Pull the arms slightly away from the back of the body and then soften them back down. One more just like that, pull the arms slightly away, soften them back down. And now we're gonna pull the arms slightly away, lifting the chest, lift your chin, look to the sky, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then release everything with control. Hands come back down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down to the ground. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, roll your shoulders up to your ears, around, down, and back. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing. Roll your shoulders up to your ears, around, down, and back. One more just like that. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, bend your knees, pull the abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing. Roll your shoulders all the way up to your ears, around, down, and back. Swim your hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Draw the knuckles down. Open the chest. Lift your chin. Take a nice big breath. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, release back to your mountain pose. Nice. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Knees bent or straight. Totally up to you. Whatever feels the most comfortable. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to downward facing dog. From here, bring yourself forward into a plank position. So we're gonna bring the shoulders in line with the wrist, readjust your feet as needed, pause in your plank, broaden your shoulders, gaze down between your thumbs, push through your heels, take a nice big breath in. Slow breath out. Beautiful, bring your knees down, lower yourself down onto your belly gently with control. Once you found your way down, either you're gonna stack your hands and let your forehead rest, or you're gonna tuck your hands under your bony hip point. Take a second to get comfortable here. Chin on the floor, forehead on the floor, whatever feels the most comfortable. Now we're gonna take it into our half locust. So we're gonna shake our heels, get them nice and loose. And then once you feel like they've got it all loosened up, reach through your right toes, pull your right toes away from you. Keep pulling the toes so far away that you lengthen as you lift the leg up. 
and then pull the toes away from you, lengthen as you lower down. Beautiful, once that leg touches down, give it a little shake. Take it over to the left, pull those left toes away from you. Pull them so far that you lengthen as you lift up. Pull them away from you, lengthen as you lower down. Beautiful, once it touches down, give your heels a little soft shake. Nice, and then release your hands from your hip points, bring your hands alongside the shoulders. Three low cobras here, inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. One more time. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. And now we're going to take it into a half, half frog or tree frog pose. So we're going to slide the right leg up and in. Your choice here. You're either bringing the heel in like you're in a, tr in a tree position or out like you're in a frog position. So that's just whatever is more comfortable. Once you've got your leg in a good position, walk your hands in. So you come back to that sphinx position. So elbows in line with the shoulders, hands in parallel, spread your fingers. Imagine drawing your elbows towards your ribs. So we activate through the back of the body with that leg out to the side. See if you can just soften your inner thigh. We're shortening that hip flexor muscle. So we wanna give it a second to just chill out. So see if you can relax your bum, relax the backs of your legs. Take a nice big breath in. Slow breath out. Awesome. And then walk your elbows wide, lower yourself down, slide that right leg back. Give your bum a little wiggle, make sure everything feels okay. And then we're going to take it to the other side. So left leg is going to slide up either in that frog position or in the tree position. That's just whatever is the most comfortable to you. And once you've got your leg there, Lift yourself up, elbows back in line with the shoulders, hands in that parallel position. Elbows draw back, squeeze between the shoulder blades, soften your butt, soften the backs of your legs. Take one more breath. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release. Walk your elbows nice and wide, lower your belly down, slide that left leg back, take a second, wiggle out your bum. And then when you're ready, we're gonna power up to a plank. So you're gonna bring your hands in alongside your shoulders, curl the toes under, find your strength, push your way up to that plank position. Nice, take it up to downward facing dog, lift your butt up nice and high. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Grab that imaginary beach ball right away, sink into a chair. Inhale and rise up. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest, look to the sky. Inhale, reach up, grab that beach ball. Exhale, sink into your chair. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink into your chair. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink into your chair. And now we're gonna bring our hands down. So hands are gonna find the tops of the thighs or the knees. And then we're just gonna bring the body weight forward slightly so that now you're more situated so that the weight is evenly distributed at the bottom of your feet. And then we're gonna take it three Uddiyana Bandhas here. So that flying up lock, take a big inhale. Exhale, at the end of your exhale, suck the abdominal muscles in. Hold that sucked in belly as long as you can and then release the muscles with control, then take your inhale. Exhale, at the end of the exhale, suck the belly in. Hold that sucked in belly. When you're ready, release the abdominal muscles, take your inhale. One more time, exhale. At the end of the exhale, suck it in. Hold it for a moment and then release and then take your inhale. Beautiful, on your next exhale, just fold everything down to the ground. If it feels good, take a little sway side to side, pedal out your legs.
Take one more little sway side to side. And then as you come back to center, bend your knees a lot, pull the abdominal muscles in, roll all the way up to standing. Roll your shoulders up to your ears, around, down, and back. We're gonna take the left hand, reach behind and see if you can catch your right elbow pit. So we're just gonna create a little bit of length. Once you've got your hand hold, whatever is gonna work good for you, you're gonna drop your left ear over to your left shoulder. Take one more breath. Lift your head back to center, release your hold of that elbow pit and take it to the other side. So right hand's gonna reach behind, see if you can catch hold of the left elbow pit, get everything arranged nicely. And once you feel like you've found your way there, drop your right ear over to your right shoulder. Take one more breath. And then lift your head up, release your hand hold from that elbow pit. Let your hands come back down at your sides. Find your mountain pose again. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked or release, that's totally up to you. Bring your hand to your knee, lift your chest, pull the hip crease back, reach your arms up, take a nice big breath, look up. Awesome, now we're gonna bring your both hands back like you're putting your hands into your back pockets, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift your chest. So just a gentle back bend here as you look towards the sky, take one good breath. Nice, and then release your hands down to the ground, frame your front foot, three half splits here. Pull your hips back, peel your front toes up. Rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Pull your hips back, peel the front toes up. Rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Nice, one more just like that, pull back. Rock forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze, curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up. So we come into that nice high lunge. Beautiful, plant your palms, step back to plank. Right away, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of your elbows, hug your elbows in, lower with control. One cobra here as high as you like. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. Now we're gonna find our way up to a plank position. So curl your toes under, find some strength. Push the floor away from you. Lift up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Come to forward fold at the top of your mat. We're gonna to inhale to a half forward fold and then walk your hands up so you find the tops of your thighs. Once you've found that, push into your thighs just a little bit to create some leverage, lengthening through the spine. And we're gonna take three nods of the head up and down. So tuck your chin towards your chest and then lift your chin slightly. Tuck your chin towards your chest, lift your chin slightly. One more just like that, tuck chin to chest. Lift your chin slightly, find a more neutral position with the head. Soften your knees, push into your feet, inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, that's up to you. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, that's your choice. Hand to the knee, lift your chest. Pull that hip crease back, square it up. And then once you're there, inhale, lift your arms up, look to the sky, take a nice big breath. Beautiful. Now bring your hands into your back pockets, squeeze your shoulder blades, elbows drawing towards each other, lift your chest, lift your gaze, take a nice big breath. Nice. And then release your hands down, frame your front foot into your three half splits. Pull the hips back, peel the front toes up. Rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Pull the hips back. Rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. One more time, pull the hips back. Rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick the back knee up into that high lunge position. Beautiful, plant your palms, step back to a plank. Right away, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, lower with control. One cobra here as high as you like. Exhale to lower down, curl the toes under, find some strength, push your way up into a plank position, and then find your way to your downward facing dog.
look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold, keep that half forward fold position, walk your hands up, find the tops of your thighs, push into your thighs, create some leverage in the spine, lengthen out, and then the three nods of the head up and down. Bring your head to a neutral position, push into your feet, inhale, arms up and overhead, hands to heart center. We're gonna interlace the fingers here, flip the palms, press them forward, glide the shoulder blades down. Pause just for a moment, notice that stretch in the fingers, notice that stretch in your palms. Awesome, and then we're gonna soften the knees just a little bit. Push your palms forward, round through the shoulders, round through the back of the body. Take a nice big inhale. Slow exhale, and then bring it all back in. Release your hands, come back into your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, your choice with the breath. Inhale, raise your arms up. Bring your hands into your back pockets. Hug the elbows together, lift your chest, lift your chin, take a nice big breath. Release your hands down, frame your front foot, one half splits here, pull the hips back, peel the front toes up, rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up. Right hand's gonna stay on the ground, left hand's gonna reach up for a little twist. Release that left hand down, plant the palms, step back to plank. Beautiful, release your knees, rotate the eyes of your elbows, hug your elbows in, lower with control. One cobra here, just as high as you like. Exhale, up to downward facing dog. Right leg up into three-legged dog, bend the knee, let the hip roll open, take one good breath. Beautiful, now we're gonna step the right foot up to the top right corner of the mat. So step it up nice and wide. Once you've found your way there, Bring the back knee down, release your back toes. We're gonna to bring the right hand to the inside of that right knee, gently push the knee open. You might fall onto the blade edge of the foot if that's a comfortable position. Draw your right shoulder back, look over your shoulder, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, nice and easy release. Bring your hand down to the ground, curl your back toes under, pick the back knee up. We're gonna turn the front toes out just to create a little space and then hop your left foot up to the top left corner of your mat. So a nice wide squat position, and then just take a couple of little rocks side to side. Beautiful, and then as you come back to center, lift your butt up a little bit, toe heel your feet in so they're about hip width distance apart, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, roll your shoulders around, down and back. Awesome, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tuck to release, whatever feels the most comfortable with your breath. Inhale, arms up. Hands into the back pockets, lift your chest, squeeze your elbows together, lift your gaze. Beautiful, and then release those hands down to the ground. Frame your front foot, half split. Pull your butt back, peel the front toes up. Rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, lift the back knee up. Left hand stays on the ground, right hand reaches up for a twist. Beautiful, bring that hand down, frame the front foot, step that front foot back to plank. Bring your knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, lower with control. One cobra here as high as you like. Exhale up to downward facing dog. Beautiful, left leg up into three-legged dog. Bend the knee, let the hip roll open, take one good breath. And then step that left foot up to the top left corner of your mat, outside of your pinky finger, nice and wide. Beautiful, bring that back knee down, release the toes, left hand to that left knee, push the knee open just as much as feels good to you. Pull that left shoulder back, look over your shoulder, take a nice big breath. Awesome, when you're ready, release. 
bring it back down onto the flat of the foot, curl the back toes under, pick that back knee up. Front toes are gonna turn out to create a little space. And then we're hopping that back leg up to the top right corner of your mat. And once you've got your way there, take a little gentle rock side to side. And then as you lift your butt up just a little bit higher, toe heel your feet in to about hip width distance apart. Bend your knees a lot, pull the abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, roll your shoulders around, down and back. Take a second to just get situated at the top of your mat and then find your mountain pose again. Pause in your mountain pose, come back to your breath. Take a nice big inhale. Nice slow exhale. When you're ready, inhale, arms up and look up. Let your hands meet. Let your chest lift as you look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. Step both feet back to down dog. Pick up your heels, lower your knees, come into a tabletop position. Take one cat cow here, but as you're taking your cat and cow, Mainly notice how your knees are feeling. We're gonna come into our frog position. So find a neutral spine. And then if your knees need a little cushioning, you might choose to just turn yourself sideways on your mat so you can start to walk your knees out to a wide position that feels right to you. I personally don't have mischievous knees. So I like my knees on a hard surface so I can just let my knees kind of slide out. But you're gonna choose the version that feels the most appropriate to your body. So walk your knees out to a wide position trying to keep the knees in line with the hips and then trying to keep the heels fairly in line with the knees. So we get that nice 90 degree angle of the legs. Come to a depth that feels good to you. Once you found your way there, pause and take a breath. Take one more breath. And then slowly and mindfully start to bring yourself back up and in. Engage the inner thighs, walk your knees in back into your tabletop position. And then we're gonna take our little cow face prep pose. So send your right leg out, swing your left toes over to the right side of your mat, tuck your right knee behind the left. So knees are stacked, toes pointing in opposite direction. We're gonna pull the butt back towards the heels, keep your head in a neutral position. Bring yourself back up to that tabletop. Turn your head to the right as you pull your butt back towards your heels. Come forward, bring your head back to that neutral position. Turn your head to the left as you pull your butt back towards your heels. Come forward into that neutral position. And then this time, if it feels right to do so, we're gonna sit all the way back. So you're gonna sit your butt all the way back. Knees are gonna be stacked. Hands are gonna find the soles of the feet. Lift nice and tall. Keep that nice, tall, upright position with the spine, but lean your heart forward. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Beautiful, lift through the crown of your head. Lift your chest away from the thighs. Release your hands from the soles of the feet. Either just push yourself forward or let your hands help assist as you come forward. And then unwind your legs, come back into your tabletop and give everything a little box side to side. Cool, now we're gonna take it to the other side. So left leg is gonna extend out nice and long. Right toes reach over to the left side of the mat, tuck your left knee behind the right. So knees are stacked, toes pointing in opposite directions. Beautiful, head in a neutral position. Pull your butt back towards your heels. Come forward into that tabletop. Turn your head to the left as you pull your butt back toward your heels. Come forward, bring your head back to neutral. Turn your head to the right as you pull your butt back toward your heels. Come forward, bring your head into a neutral position. And then this time, if it feels comfortable to do so, you're gonna sit all the way back onto your butt, keeping the knees stacked or rearranging them once you get back there. Hands to the soles of the feet, lift up nice and tall. Keep that nice tall uplifted spine, lean your chest forward. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Lift up through the crown of your head, lift your chest away from your thighs, release your hands from the soles of the feet, and then come forward back into your tabletop position. Unwind your legs, give your hips a little box side to side. 
Beautiful. One more little bop of the hips side to side. And then either swing your legs out to one side or crisscross your legs behind you. Sit back on your butt and send your legs out in front of you nice and long. Nice. And then once you found your legs nice and long, just take a second, get yourself situated. And then we're going to come into that seated staff pose. So pull the toes in toward you, legs nice and active, hands alongside your hips, push into your palms, find all the length in your spine that you can reach up through the crown of your head. And then just check your head. If your head is jutted forward, draw it back. So your ears are in line with your shoulders. Back of the body is nice and active. Legs are nice and active. Take one more good breath. Beautiful, and then soften, soften your elbows, soften your knees, wiggle out your toes. Nice, and now we're gonna take it from a reverse table into some forward folds. So step your feet in just slightly so that your feet are nice and planted on the floor. Press into your palms, lift your butt up, come into a reverse table that works good for your shoulders. And then send your butt back between your arms, stretch your legs nice and long, take a big breath, reach up. Exhale, reach towards your feet. Bring it back in, hands slide alongside the hips, slide your feet in, plant your feet, lift your butt up, release it down, lengthen your legs, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold towards your feet. Beautiful, bring it back in, hands alongside the hips, slide your feet in, push into your feet, push into your hands, lift your butt up, release it down, lengthen your legs, inhale, arms up, exhale and fold. Beautiful. Bring your hands back up and in. Slide those feet in, bend your knees, scoot your butt forward, curl your tailbone under, start to find your way down to the ground. Once you've found your way down, just give a second to let everything find its way. Let your back settle into the floor. Make sure that your clothes and your hair are comfortable. We're going to take it into a eagle position on our backside. So lift your legs up, cross your right leg over your left. See if you can tuck your toes behind the calf. So we get those legs nice and wrapped up with the right leg on top, right hand on bottom. We're gonna wrap those arms around and then take it into some eagle crunches. So we're gonna pull the elbows in towards the knees, give a little squeeze and then release. Pull the elbows and the knees in and release. One more just like that. Exhale as you pull it in for a little squeeze and then release, unwrap your arms, unwrap your legs, set your feet down, give a little windshield wiper action just to make sure everything feels okay. And then when you feel good and ready, we're gonna take it to the other side. So lift those legs up, left leg is gonna cross over the right, tuck your toes behind your calf if you can. With the left leg on top, left hand on bottom, wrap your arms around. Nice, and then bring it in for a little crunch. Elbows and knees draw in and release. Exhale as you hug it in. Inhale to release. One more time, exhale, hug it in. Inhale to release. Unwind your arms, unwind your legs, windshield wiper the knees a little side to side. One more little swish of the knees side to side. And then we're gonna to start to find our way into our supine twist. So pull your left knee into your chest, extend your right leg nice and long. Take that left knee over and across the body. Left arm opens out nice and wide, turn your head to the left if that feels comfortable. Take three nice deep breaths here. Beautiful, from here, pull that left knee back into the chest, taking that left leg into a half happy baby. So you might choose to just hold onto the back of the thigh, taking the knee out wide, or you might choose to hold onto the blade edge of the foot or the big toe. So that knee comes to the outsides of the ribs and then we draw the knee down, heel up towards the sky, take a nice big inhale. Slow exhale. Wonderful, and then when you're ready, release, pull both knees into your chest, give yourself a light little squeeze, Hold on to your right knee, let your left leg go nice and long. Supine twist to the other side. So take that right knee over and across the body. Let your right arm open out nice and wide. Head turns to the right if that feels good.
Beautiful. When you're ready, pull that knee back in towards the chest and then move into your half happy baby. So you might choose to just swing the knee out wide, grab the back of the thigh, blade edge of your foot or your big toe, whatever handhold works the best for you. Knee comes to the outside of the rib as best we can. Knee drops down towards the floor, heel up to the sky, and then come back to your breath. Nice, generous inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Awesome, and then from here, if you like, keep your hold on that foot, take the other leg up and find your way into a full happy baby. So we're gonna grab the other blade edge or the big toe or the back of the thigh, both knees nice and wide, and then give a second, let your shoulder blades settle in, let your tailbone settle down. And then once you've got a nice comfortable position, find a little bit of organic movement, maybe a little gentle rocking side to side, maybe moving through the legs and the feet, any playful movement that feels nice in your body. Take one more moment here, and then we're gonna release into legs up the wall. So release your handhold wherever it is, bring your feet up towards the ceiling, keep a nice generous bend in the knees so you're not yanking against the backs of the legs. Let your hands come out at your sides, and then just give a moment to let everything come into a little stillness here. Let your feet be kind of soft and heavy, ankles are soft, knees are soft. Great, now keeping your left leg up towards the sky, you're gonna bend your right knee. You're gonna swing that right foot behind the left leg. See if you can take your left hand, reach behind and grab hold of that right foot. Once you've got hold of that right foot, you're gonna draw the heel towards your butt, keep your left leg up towards the sky. And we're gonna drop that right knee down towards the ground and then lift it up slightly, see if there's anything you need to rearrange. And then we're gonna do that again, drop the knee down towards the ground. Lift it up slightly, rearrange anything that you need to. And then this time we're gonna drop that knee down towards the ground, let it get nice and heavy. And then if you like, set your left foot down as well. And then you're just gonna let that knee lengthen towards the end of your mat, feeling a little bit of length through the top of your quadriceps. So soften there as best you can, take a nice big breath. Take one more breath, beautiful. And then we're gonna lift the left knee up, lift the right knee up to meet, release your hold of the foot. Both legs are gonna go back up towards the sky, wiggle out your ankles, bounce out your knees, anything that feels good to you there. And then we're gonna take it to the other side. So we're gonna bend that left knee, swing that foot behind the right leg, reach your right hand up. Can you catch hold of that left foot? Once you've got a handhold, can you bring the heel toward your butt as you lower your knee down just a little bit? and then lift it back up. See if you need to rearrange anything, your hand hold or the position of your knee. And then once you feel like you've got it figured out, lower your knee a little bit and bring it back up. And then on this last one, lower your knee down just as low as you can, and then set your right foot down as well. And then let everything soften. Let your left knee reach towards the end of your mat, soften through the top of your thigh, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, lift your right knee up, lift your left knee up, releasing your hand hold, float both legs up, give everything a little shake, shake out your ankles, shake out your knees, get a little vibration in your body, just let everything find a little, little jiggle, let your, let your fatty tissue move, let your muscles move a little bit, let your skin move a little bit, feel that little bit of vibration in your breath. And then once you feel like you're shaking it all out, gently float your feet back down to the ground and then ask your body where would be your best Shavasana. If you're in a colder climate, it might feel good to put a blanket on or your socks or your sweater. So get yourself nice and cozy. And then find a position with the body that feels good to you. Perhaps constructive rest with the knees dropping in towards each other. Maybe you want a little extra action for the hips coming into your reclined cobbler's pose. 
Maybe walk your feet nice and long, or maybe you like that belly down position and you want to flip over onto your belly. So whatever position works good for you, take a second to find it. Start to bring your awareness back into your body. Become aware of the solid floor beneath you. Gently wake up your fingers, wake up your toes. Invite some gentle movement into your wrists and your ankles. Maybe even turn your head gently side to side. And then invite any other movement into the body that reawakens you and feels nice. And then if it all feels good, take a big good morning stretch. Stretch your legs long, reach your arms up and overhead, and then just find that nice long reach through the fingers, through your toes. Take a nice big giant breath back into your body. Awesome. And then in your own way, in your own pace, find your way up to a comfortable seated position. Maybe Sukhasana. Maybe you like a little hero's pose or thunderbolt pose. That's what we finished with last night. So any position that feels good and lets you sit up nice and tall. And then once you've found your way up to that nice, comfortable seated position, stack one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart, close your eyes down or soften your gaze. Take a nice big breath in. Slow breath out. Take a moment here just to notice your physical body. Notice the physical action of breath in your body. And then notice where your thoughts are at right now. Breathe in a little love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And as you exhale, just let your shoulders soften and think about letting go of anything you're holding on to that won't serve you through the rest of your day. When you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Tuesday.